Hey guys, so happy Saturday. I finally made it to the grocery store and I wanted to show you guys what I got at Aldi's. Um, did get a few things at Sam's. Um, actually, my mom got it for me, so I am not gonna film that for you guys, um, but it's the normal beer, Red Bull, um, and I'll show you two things that I did get and some root beer and water, the normal stuff that I get. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys around and show you guys what I got at Aldi's. I got everything um, that I'm gonna show you for $155.15. I'm so excited because I've not been able to go to Aldi's for at least two months now and it's been killing me because I just, I love, love, love Aldi's. So let me go ahead and show you guys because I got quite a bit to go over. All right, guys, so here is everything that I got at Aldi's today. As you guys can see, that is quite a bit for $155. I'm pretty stoked. Um, this is going to last us the month. There are only a couple of things that I have to get from Walmart, um, probably about maybe $20 worth, if that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys because I'm really excited. So I picked up some more of these Savorit's Original Buttery Round Crackers. Um, they come in four sleeves and it was $1.79. I'm just going to eat those for cheese and crackers. Picked up some buttermilk pancake mix. This is the Aunt Maples brand and this is 32 ounces. Um, I believe this was $1.79 as well. And then I picked up two of the um, chocolate chip muffins. Love these for snacks. They're five snack packs in each and they're $1.99. Then I picked up this giant two pound box of angel hair pasta for our spaghetti and also some um, chicken alfredo. So that was $1.45. Was so excited to find these, um, these salad dressing and recipe mixes. I got two of the Italian packets and then two of the ranch packets and I'm going to be mixing the ranch for sure with sour cream. I think this one goes with olive oil if I'm not mistaken. Um, but that is going to be for dips and different things like that. I may pick up some actual um, like carrots and vegetables and whatnot and dip those in that for lunch. Picked up two of these bags of the cheddar sour cream. These are the 9.5 ounces in Clancy's. I haven't tried this flavor. Um, I have tried this brand and I mean it's pretty decent. Um, but these were $1.49 I believe. Picked up this bag of these. Sorry guys, the shadow. This Clancy's Pretzel Slams. These are really good. And I dipped these in hummus. These were $1.99. Picked up some Berman's Honey Barbecue. That was 99 cents. Some spicy brown mustard, 99 cents. Some honey mustard, 99 cents. And some PB and J stripes. Um, I haven't tried the combination together, but this obviously is going to be for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And I think this one was $1.69. Picked up this pack of Hawaiian sweet rolls. I'm gonna be making different sandwiches for our lunches. So I picked up that and I believe it was $1.99. Picked up some of these flour tortillas, the 10 count, these were $1.19. Also picked up some Berman's ketchup back here. This was $1.49. Some sriracha hot chili sauce, this was $1.99. I actually put this on our pizzas and it's really good um, before we bake them. Picked up two of these jars of mushroom pasta for spaghetti and also for making homemade pizza. Picked up some of this Tucson Gardens Zesty Italian. This is really good. It was $1.49, I believe. And some French style Tuscan Garden as well. I splurged and got this Jello Oreo no bake dessert. This was $2.29. And then also picked up this funnel cakes. Um, pitcher, uh, pitcher in mix and I was really excited to find this because I've actually been looking for this um, but it's just got the little mix in there and then obviously the instructions and the little um, pour container so this was um, $2.29 for that picked up some of these ciabatta rolls I'm excited because I'm actually going to use these for sandwiches as well and probably some Philly cheese steaks just depending because this does expire on the 8th so really excited about that. Picked up some all-purpose flour. This was a dollar and 49 cents, I believe. This is the uh, five pound bag. I'm gonna be using this for our pizza dough uh, mainly and 
Oh, some um, cake recipes also call for that, and I was completely out. Also picked up this two pound bag of the confection sugar. This, I want to say was, it was right under $1.50. Um, so I thought that was a really good deal for that. It may have been $1.19, I'm sorry guys, I can't quite remember on that one, but I did pick up two of those um, for my cakes. And then I picked up this carton of the 12 grade large eggs. This was 69 cents. Back here, I went on a limb and I've been hearing pretty good things about their beer and wine selection as far as Aldi's goes. So I figured I would try this out on myself. I love Resling and um, I figured this would be a good try. So this was $4.99. Um, it is 750 milliliters. Normally if I were to buy um, the Resling that I sometimes buy at Walmart, it's about $10. So I was really excited to find that about half price. Picked up some sour cream. I want to say that was $1.19. Two of these jumbo flaky biscuits. That was 99 cents. Some mixed greens. This was $2.29 for salads. Picked up four of these pepperoni and sausage peaches pizzas. There's two of them that are pepperoni and sal sausage, and the other two are going to be for meat. These were $2.29. Picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of these rolls of ground turkey from Kirkwood. These are $1.89. Super, super price on that. Um, I always get those, so I decided to stock up, and I'm actually going to be making more uh, meals for my husband's lunches, so that way he's not having all this microwave food and whatnot. So I definitely needed some more um, meat for that. Picked up this bag of potato puffs. This is the 32 ounce bag. This was $1.65. Also picked up the same season's choice of the hash browns. This is also 32, I'm sorry, this one's 30 ounces and it was $1.65 as well. Picked up some medium cooked shrimp. This is gonna be for our gumbo and jambalaya. This was $4.99 and it is a 12 ounce package. Picked up some classic hummus and some, sorry guys, roasted pine nut hummus. These were $1.99 a piece. These are obviously gonna be for my lunch and snacks. And then I picked up three of these packages of the pepper jack cheese. Um, since I haven't been able to get to Waldi all these last month, I actually used the great value and the first package I got was terrible. The cheese was just crumbling. So I'm really excited to be able to go back to this Happy Farm cheese. So I did pick up three of those at $1.99 a piece. I'm sorry, $1.79. And then I picked up this bag of chicken breast patties. This was $3.79. That is a 23.8 ounce package. One pound of chicken breast for sandwiches, one pound of black forest ham. These were $3.29 a piece. Two packages of pepperoni. This is gonna be for our homemade pizzas. And this was $1.99 um, per package. And it is a six ounce package. Then on the very end over here, picked up some vanilla almond milk. This is really good. It was $2.29. Some cheddar brats. I thought my husband would enjoy these. These are $1.99. Two packages of chicken breast. And then also I have um, two packages of the one pound Happy Farms mozzarella cheese. This is obviously, sorry, I'm sorry guys, not obviously, but this is gonna be for our pizzas. And then um, the Mexican style cheese as well. This was $2.00. 29 cents, $2, I'm sorry, $2.49, this was $2.99. Then the last thing I got was these turkey meatballs because we were gonna be having meatball subs and these were $4.99, I believe. And then just the two things that I'm gonna show you guys that we did get at Sam's, these um, Utz cheese balls, these I believe were a little over $6 and then this huge box of Cheez-Its, this was about $11. Um, so total for grocery shopping this month for the entire month. This is all the actual food we got besides these two items that I showed you. Um, and with the other things that we got, it was about $440. Um, but like I said, just the food items itself um, was a dollar. Dollar, You guys, I'm just messing this all up today. It was $155.15 for all of that. And then these two food items. And that is all the food items that I got for the month of July. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you that continue to watch my haul videos 
and thank you guys so much. I looked on it the other day and I'm about 800 subscribers and I just cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate that. And, um, and it's not even about the number. It's just the fact that like you guys care. You, you know, want to see me do these hauls for you and, you know, talk about debt. And, and I know everybody watches it for different reasons, but I just, I appreciate your support in any um, fashion that you're giving it. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.